Hey guys, good morning. It's good to be back. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know much about Megan Kelly. The only thing I knew about Megan Kelly is number one, she spells her first name wrong for some reason. And she was a debate moderator back in 2016 when Trump was running uh, against the other Republican candidates. And Megyn Kelly said, oh, Trump, you're so bad that people accused you of being sexist. You've called women fat pigs. And Trump said, only Rosie O'Donnell. It, it was really funny. Classic Trump. But then everyone started to hate Megyn Kelly for asking, oh, the God Emperor is such a tough question. And Trump called her a bimbo. I, I didn't know much about her. I thought maybe Megyn Kelly is, you know, she's a blonde bimbo doing the TV type thing. That's how they pick them. And, but the more I listen to Megyn Kelly, she's not that at all. She seems very intelligent. She does interviews still. She, I, I think now is like a Trump supporter. And I, I don't agree with her 100% on every issue. I, I don't agree with anyone 100%, but she seems pretty good. And she, she was invited to this TPUSA conference. That's, you know, Charlie Kirk. And she was to speak to women. And so this created a whole thing, a whole firestorm that I, I didn't even understand at first, but let's watch this. So well, let me show you the clip here on X, formerly known as Twitter. And here she is. So let's listen to her. And again, she's speaking about marriage and how wives should act within a marriage. So let's see what she says that's so like controversial. I'll, I'll blow this up so we can see this better. Like demanding better treatment is not the way to get better treatment. Giving him twice as good a treatment is what's going to give you better treatment. Yeah, I, I, this is excellent advice, just in general, not just even in a marriage, but definitely in a marriage. Women, if you want better treatment from a man, do not nag him. The, uh, nagging a man does not make him love you more. It just makes him upset. Actually do more for him. Help him. Do loving things to him. And men, do the same thing for your wives. Do extra th than what they're expecting. And this is how you get stuff have a good relationship. You don't keep a ledger like, okay, I get do this for you. You better do this for me. Uh, that's like some weird business ar arrangement. Try to do more for your spouse. So this is actually really good advice and it's biblical. Jesus talked about the Sermon on the Mount, how you should interact with people. Very good advice. So I don't see anything controversial with Megan Kelly basically saying, women don't nag your wives, just do better with them uh, to your husbands. All right, let's see what else she says here. Be quick to forgive. I'm sorry to be hitting this theme a lot, but have a lot of sex. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's very easy to keep men happy, and once you figure that out, your life and your relationship is going to go better. It's so simple. And I saw this, and yeah, she's right. Be quick to forgive. Again, that's a biblical teaching. Forgive others. And people make mistakes. Understand that your husband will make mistakes. Forgive him. And never withhold sex. I mean, sex is important. It's important within marriage. It helps bind you together. The other stuff in the relationship is important too, but sex is kind of the glue of the relationship that helps you to be more than, let's say, roommates or something. Because if you if you don't have sex, pretty soon you're just like roommates that you're sharing up a household or you're sharing parenting duties, but you're not coming together as one, as a couple. And boy, that's just, that's going to create issues. It, it really will. And this should, this shouldn't be like heretical or anything like that. Or, oh, I've never heard of such a thing. The Apostle Paul, you're right. The guy that really spread Christianity, who I'm named after. He wrote in Corinthians, do not deprive each other except by, perhaps by mutual consent for a time so that you may uh, devote yourself to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you. This was the Apostle Paul in Corinthians uh, stating the importance of sex within the marriage. So this is, this is if we believe we're Christians, we believe this came from the Holy Spirit. So God is saying have sex within the marriage and women don't withhold yourself for men. Maybe as a couple, you guys cannot have sex for a period of time for whatever reason, but make sure you come back together. But 
So you think, okay, so this isn't a controversial thing that Megyn Kelly said. Well, if you thought that, you would be wrong. You would be wrong because in our weirdos online anymore, it is just pretty crazy, the response. So let's take a look at some of the response here. Uh, first response by, with uh, 52 likes, Lauren Whiskey, gross! <laughs> I don't get this. I don't get this. I mean, Megyn Kelly, she may have her faults, Lauren, but she is married to a white guy and she has white kids. Shouldn't that be something? I don't know. Shouldn't that be something? And uh, then we get some more. What a filthy woman you are, Megan Kelly. Is this the type of message TPUS pushes on their female audience? How's this, how's this filthy? That you should forgive your husband? That you shouldn't nag him? That you shouldn't forsake him sex? Somehow, oh, this is gross. Filthy. And it goes on. Brah. And Charlie Kirk, is this is what you're promoting at your events? Bruh. And then it goes goes on and on and on. Nasty woman. Disgusting. Very, quote, conservative advice. Ugh. And it, it there's a couple that support it. Degenerate slut. Uh, this is bizarre. We got this movement now on the right. I don't know how this came. But it's something like out of George Orwell's 1984 novel, where you had the junior anti-sex league and all these women like, oh, we don't have sex. And the reason Orwell put that in, 1984, by the way, is supposed to be satire. But it was like the government wants total control over you. They don't want you to have any uh, loyalty or feelings to other people. That was his point in 1984. So everything that has like affection or sex or anything that's very human the the state is opposed to that's that's where he got that and i i get it guys don't get me wrong we're in the middle of this degenerate pride month that's gross uh there's a lot of evil out there but men and women having sex within a marriage is not an issue it's not disgusting it's not gross i i don't really know we have this strange this strain uh, of the so-called conservative right-wing movement that has become honestly very gay. It's like, oh, sex. Yeah, I guess you got to get married. But when you have sex, it's just to have a kid and you got to think of something else. Maybe thinking, think of the king of England while you do it and to get through it as quick as possible <laughs> and then get your woman pregnant so she can, you know, make more sandwiches and have babies. It, it's a bizarre warp view of the world. Uh, is I, I get it. It's a reaction from what's happening in our society where, you know, you have guys dressed up as dogs and gay pride parade giving sex in public. I, I get that. That's degenerate. But now they're, they take that and then they, they say, oh, well, now all sex is just horrible and evil. It, it's really, really weird. And we need to be normal people. And normal, healthy people, they're not against sex and marriage. They don't think that a woman says, hey, forgive your husband, uh, consider his needs, uh, don't forsake him sex. We're, oh, you degenerate slut. That's not what we're about. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's weird how this has happened. And it, it's sort of sad to see. It's kind of funny in a way, too. So I agree with Megan Kelly here. So anyway, guys, uh, talk to you guys later.